Oh, boys, it's going to be a late one for me. We got a lot of updates regarding the RTX 50 series. And guess what? I could not not make a video on it because you know what? There's a lot of really cool stuff to cover. So I'm just going to go ahead and stay up a couple hours past my normal uh, bedtime because I don't really know where I was headed with that. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the video before I get too far off topic. Notorious for that, my friends. NVIDIA RTX 5090 Founders is actually, let's go over the cool one first. Might as well, right? You're welcome. NVIDIA RTX 5090 release date, though there's no official release date for the NVIDIA RTX 5090, thanks to the, I'm not even gonna edit. Tech rumor mill. We do have an idea on when the card could end up coming out. Ready? You watch this one. I'm gonna take a wild guess. You ready for this? Quarter four. I'm just gonna, I'm, before I even read the section. All right, here we go. All signs seem to point to late. Ooh, look at that. I told you I was right. 2024 or early 2025 the f so the f dude it's just <laughs> i'm just being real with you bro <laughs> any okay so 5080 is gonna come out probably in january or or like whatever the beginning to mid december the 5090 is gonna come out either november or december they're not going to wait until past the holiday season they're not stupid okay <laughs> they're not dumb every company to in the history of like stuff like this dude holiday season it's just common sense everybody is buying stuff okay it's just like every big release like this big releases dude <laughs> it's just common sense to release stuff during the holiday because everybody's freaking buying stuff but anyways let's go ahead and continue down to the nvidia rtx 5090 specs and we're not gonna go i mean we can go ahead and go over what to expect but I don't, I don't think you guys really care about that. <laughs> but anyways, the, <laughs> but, uh, the, so anyway, so from what we're seeing, dude, all right, hold up. So this is the, the 4090 memory bandwidth is going to feature a 77% boost compared to the 4090. Oh, freaking hey, dude. All right, you know what? I'm going to have to, I'm not, I'm not even going to attempt to like read that. My mind, can, <laughs> that's too many numbers. I need a chart for something like this. I'll recognize it while I'm editing. Um, but anyways, I'll read it. It's a rumored to feature a 512 bit memory bus that is 33% wider than the one on the RTX 4090. The memory bandwidth, I already read that. And then 28 gigabytes per second gddr7 memory modules is going to be 33 percent faster than 21 gigabytes per second modules in the rtx 4090 i need a chart for this in order to, for my brain to comprehend it so um <laughs> i'm not going to uh <laughs> i'm not going to uh attempt to talk about that because i honestly don't remember anything that i just said <laughs> but um so the next article I wanted to share with you is the one from the video cards website. The NVIDIA RTX 5090 Founders Edition is rumored to feature 16 gigabytes of DDR7 memory modules in the denser design. And the reason I'm covering a lot of this stuff is because it's coming from multiple sources. And I know that if I just cover one thing, there's like 100% chance it's just a fucking guess. <laughs> But when there's multiple articles covering the same thing, it's probably legitimately a rumor and not some random Reddit guy that was like, oh, hey, you know what? I want to make a Reddit post and talk about like what I think about everything and then label it a leak. But, um, but this is like actually a bunch of stuff that a lot of articles are covering about and um, each of them do go about d explaining things in different ways. Video cards is absolutely my favorite way that whatever i just i the way they always like outline their you can tell they're actually putting effort into their website the exact opposite of what i do in my videos <laughs> but to be fair dude it's literally what i'm intending to do i look i'm not trying to be, i'm not trying to be freaking jay's two cents i'm not trying to be hardware unboxed i'm not trying to be gamers nexus i'm not trying to be no professional review guy i'm just trying to be some normal human enjoying something talking about things that he enjoys you know penguinzo guy that sits in front of a webcam and a white shirt that literally has really long hair and like just sits there talking hanging out with people speaking about stuff he enjoys I'm hoping that I'm going to be capable of doing this. It seems to be working out pretty well because I'm just myself and people seem to respect that. I'm not going to go ahead and hide the things that I struggle with or pretend that I don't struggle with stuff. I'm just going to be real. Um, but anyways, 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move on because I got a little off topic there. This right here is an update on the GeForce RTX. So before I start this, I swear I'm not gonna get too far off topic. So I did see a uh, an article regarding, I think it was yesterday. It was like regarding path tracing, I think is what it was. I'm gonna have to Google it, 50 series. Path tracing. All right, hold up. Is it this one? I don't think this is it, but I know it was on Reddit. It was an older post, but either way, I know it was about path tracing and then also uh, an up or not. This isn't really an update, but it was also a, uh, I got, this is the wrong article that we got to go back to, but it was also like these, the 70% again, it's marketing, dude. It happens every year. Okay it's just it's just how it is it's i'm not saying it's right i'm not saying it's wrong i'm just saying it's it's a marketing technique okay so like the whatever the 40 series to be fair they're still very good graphics cards okay but what i do want to say is that um I think I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, I know I was going somewhere with this and it was really important. So I hope, all right, we got to get back. Cause I forgot what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Nvidia maybe. Oh, I know what I was going to say. So, uh, the, so like with the 40 series, they went about marketing with the freaking ridiculous FPS numbers. We're like, Oh my God, we're getting like 90% ridiculous performance. And it was all with DLSS on. So we get these graphics cards and we're like, yo, these are performing at like 20% of what you said they were going to perform at. And it's because they were all freaking the numbers in video was like showing compared to the previous cards was all with DLSS turned on. So it was like fake numbers and all companies do this. Dude. They all do this. All right. Look at Sony and their PS5 8K console. What game even five years later is. 8k on that there's like one or two games that run in 8k yet they marketed it as an 8k console <laughs> like dude amd does it intel does it nvidia does it xbox and every, everybody actually to be fair nintendo doesn't nintendo just sucks so uh um i knew i wanted to say something so you got to remember you got to keep that in mind with the performance numbers that we're seeing right now and that everybody's saying whatever oh we're getting a 70 percent performance increase which is really nutty and i'm hoping dude i hope so i think that would be sick if we if we get a 70 percent increase especially if it's like a 70 increase or 70 percent increase in the stupid ass oh man i hope i don't get mon unmonetized for saying that that's not a swear word it's literally a donkey youtube ai i was literally intended donkey that's what i was saying i was not swearing okay so ai i know you're reading my voice right now so you can hear my voice. That was literally a donkey statement. It was not a cuss word. So I forgot what I was. <laughs> I forgot what. <laughs> Dude, I'm so bad at. It. Okay. So if you're new to the channel, I have high functioning autism. For if you're new to the channel, dude. So <laughs> I do. I, I'm just sharing stuff I enjoy, and I do end up losing track. I'll admit it. Um, <laughs> I forget where I was. I was heading with that. The DLSS and all that kind of stuff, I know is, is what I was saying. We got to build this computer as well, by the way. Uh, but anyways, let's get back to the article. So anyways, at the end of the day, dude, they're all covering the, the exact same thing. The only reason I wanted to go over each of them was just so that you guys could see this ain't some like guy randomly freaking posting some stupid thing on Reddit being like, oh, this is what it is. Let me label it as a rumor and a leak, even though it's just me guessing like literally every other YouTuber. I know it's been a while since we made an update on the 50 series, but dude, I really don't want to like just repeat myself every single day in other videos, but there does, there does come a point where I understand there's momentum and that's how YouTubers grow. That's how people get their channels off of the ground. And when I do the computer builds when i have fun with like the technology and gaming monitors and whatever messing around with hardware 
the videos don't do as well dude i the only reason i make them is because i genuinely enjoy them and i run a pc building business why would i not like it's a pc channel why would i not upload the pc builds but i do understand that i can't do that too many times in a row because that is going to slow down my growth and it's going to slow down the momentum that is how youtube works i have so i've had seven channels this is actually a comment that i get a lot so dude a lot of the people that there's a lot of ways that I make money, but there's people that are asking me how, to, how, how do I have so much money to buy all of this stuff? One, I run a business, so I'm making money from my business. Two, I have had seven YouTube channels. One of them was terminated and deleted for some freaking reason. No idea why it was my shorts channel. So I genuinely don't care about it. I hate making shorts anyways. I was literally paying somebody to make them for me. So I really just don't care. Whatever it is what it is. Um, so anyways, that channel was banned. I had an AI channel that I sold. I had an animation channel that I sold and I made a ton of money from those two channels. And then I have my, my four other Dan does channels, which my gaming and PC channel are really, really, really similar. I upload a, a, a lot of the same type of content on those channels. It's a gaming channel, a PC channel. And I, to be honest, I'm not going to lie, dude. I upload a lot of my PC builds to both channels. Why wouldn't I? It fits both channels, but anyways, so the reason I'm able to afford all this stuff, dude, is because one, it's a part of my, it's, it's a part of my business. Like I have to build these computers in order to make money. So like the computers that I'm building, I'm not just like storing them in my room. And, uh, if you guys want me to build you a computer free, everything, it's literally how I, every computer I have ever sold. If you go to the, like my, my Facebook link every computer i have ever sold is the cost of the parts nothing else zero dude even and i've dude everything i'm doing is is what alex hermosi says making an offer so good it's impossible to say no and i mean this in like I, that i have focused so heavily on that that i literally live in a state with no sales tax so that i can buy everything specifically for the cost of the parts and that's all you pay so if you live in a state with it i'm just going to use a number so that you can the math is easy here if you live in a state that has a 10 percent sales tax and i build you a three thousand dollar computer you would end up having to pay me three hundred dollars more just for me to break even because of the tax but i don't live in a state with any tax zero tax so if I build you a $3,000 computer and that's how much the, the parts cost, that is literally all I charge you. Everything that I, dude, and you can go ahead and hate me and you can call me corny and you can call me a copycat and you can call me a loser and, and whatever for having this as my goal. I really don't care because it is my goal. I just don't care what your opinion on this goal is. My goal is to be the Mr. Beast of gaming PCs. And I don't mean that by being the biggest YouTuber. I don't care how big I get. Okay. I just care about getting big enough to where I can make a difference and I can have an impact on the community that changed my life personally. If it was not for the gaming community, I would be in a coffin buried in the ground. Okay. And I mean that in a literal manner, dude. And I don't need to make the video five bajillion hours more longer. We can have a separate video on the things that I've struggled with that would have led me to be in a coffin in the ground. Um, But yeah, I know I was talking about building computers. <laughs> I, <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, dude. Um, I just I I I'm I'm terrible at remembering to do this. I because if it's not obvious, my mind never shuts up. If it's not already obvious with that, with me literally like not being able to stay on topic or remember what I'm talking about for more than two minutes, <laughs> dude. <laughs> and uh. Yeah, so like the medicines that I was on, I stopped taking it all, dude, because it was zombifying me and I had no energy. But anyway, so the Mr. Beast, that's where I was going. I knew I'd remember it, but I was I was literally getting off topic, so I'd remember. <laughs> um, so the Mr. Beast, the gaming, like when I say that, what I mean is I want to get to a point where I'm I'm making enough from YouTube. Brands are reaching out to me on a consistent enough basis and I'm making enough from everything that I have going for me to just simply be able to give you the computer. 
That is what I mean by being the Mr. Beast of gaming PCs. Yes, it's not on the same level of giving somebody a hundred thousand friggin' dollars, but dude, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be somebody that is going to be able to build a $5,000 computer for somebody and just give it to them for supporting me. That is what I want to do. That is my goal. And that is literally everything that I am trying to do. Like be quiet. The be quiet was really the, my most recent next big step into this. Like they're starting to send me cases for pretty much every single computer that I build for free. The power supplies that they're sending me pretty much every time they send me a power supply or pretty much every time I build a computer, the power supply in that is also being sent to me for free. And then the fans. So like I have a case power supply and fans that that's probably saving me about $400 per computer that I can literally take off of a computer build because I didn't pay for it. Why would I, why would it do? Do you see how like, so I'm gonna, I'm getting too far off topic. We're like, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I'm pretty sure I have a video anyway on how, I, how I'm, what I'm doing, how I, how I grew my business and how I'm able to do all of this with being an influencer on Amazon and then the affiliate marketing, which does not cost you anything by the way, when I like with the computer builds that I'm doing, and then I'm, I'm, I'm sending you over to Amazon to buy the computer from me or not buy it from me, but like build the same computer it has all the parts. I, I literally put a full list together for all of you so that it is very easy for you to like, it's a full list of the full parts of the full build that you literally just watched the video on. So it's very easy. It doesn't cost you anything. It's li it literally, you just click it. And because I did free marketing for Amazon and they didn't have to pay somebody to make a video for them and they didn't have to play a platform pay a platform to be running ads. I literally did that for them all for free. And because of that, when I send traffic over to Amazon, they, 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 they pay me because I did that for them. It doesn't cost you anything. So anyways, I just wanted to say that because it's, I don't understand why like affiliate marketing gets the, I, I, I guess I take that back. I do understand why it gets hate because a lot of them are just stupid idiots promoting these like freaking fat loss pills that don't work or whatever the ClickBank stuff and uh share a sale and whatever just companies that they don't even know or use dude i literally build the computer and test it with you and it's all i'm literally using it you know what i mean like so i'm like i'm actually promoting affiliate stuff that i use you know what i mean like uh, but anyways, I got way off topic. I'm going to end the video. Peace.